So real estate agents and realtors are the ones that should be owning most more real estate than anybody else. And why? Because they have insider knowledge. And in, and in real estate, insider knowledge is legal. And, uh, and you know, they run across properties. I run across properties all the time that my clients aren't going to buy because they're looking for something different. But I look at, as I'm showing properties, I recognize one is a really good deal. If they don't want it, I'm going to come circle back and, and buy that property. And real estate agents should be, and I'm really surprised at the lack. You know, basically when I get in seminars in front of real estate agents, I say, how many people own rental property? And less than a third usually do. And I say, shame on you. You guys are in the real estate industry. You're experts at this. You know the power of leverage. You know all this stuff. And, you're, and, and you've got insider knowledge. And you guys aren't using it and building up your own portfolio of, uh, for retirement or just um, or for growth. And uh, you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised how many how many real estate agents are renting apartments. And I'm I'm not dissing them for renting an apartment, but I think that, that you know they they really apply themselves. They could at least own that uh, own a piece of property. So I think it's you you would think right. It it puts them more in a, an expert position than renting. That's for sure. Well, there's good reasons to rent. You know, if you're short term in a particular area or or whatever, but. Um, you know, yeah, it definitely the credibility um, of, of uh, owning your own property, and and for investors, that's another thing. Uh, investors should be only tied. Uh, First-time investors should be working with people and and real estate agents that actually are investors. That would be my suggestion to them: is that don't buy rental property from a, a real estate broker who has no uh, no rental property and doesn't have much experience, in it because um, then they're not really serious. Right. Now, um, you use social media quite a bit. Tell me a little bit about how you tie the social media into your business. Well, I'm not really a lot on the Facebook and the Twitter. Um, you know, I've been told I really need to, to do that, uh, but I, I really don't have time to, uh, to apply it. And so we do use it for announcements, for seminars, and things like that. But I don't spend a lot of time conversing on Facebook. It just uh, it, that takes time away from me helping my clients buy and sell their houses. But I do have a, a, an awesome YouTube channel, um, which uh, has now over uh, one close to 1.5 million views. The 200 videos that I have on there have close to 1.5 million, which would probably make it the uh, most popular um, you know, real estate website, certainly in the Austin area, but uh, probably with the, with 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 what I'm doing on the promotion side of things, I think that it will uh, eventually approach 10 million views. It certainly lends to credibility. It certainly uh, shows my clients that uh, you know YouTube is now right behind Google as the number uh, the number uh, two search engine for people. You know, and everybody. I'm talking on my new Motorola X phone. That's finally got my smartphone. Everybody's got an iPhone. You know. <laughs> And you, All the new technology, yeah. <laughs> and so, so now you can sit in front of one of my properties uh, for sale, and it's a dot com, you know, a ninety five zero eight, um, you know, Palmbrook dot com, and they can sit in front, they can open up, and they can dial in, and they can look at my the YouTube virtual tour, and then pick up the phone and give me a call to to get inside. And so technology is is, is real exciting. And video is where it's all headed. In fact, I think that. Um, you know, video. You know, you've got this conference call, but now um, webinars uh, have, have been have been a really good asset for people for a long time. But now anybody can do a webinar, and now I've been doing video webinars, which is really exciting because um, video webinars, where instead of just having a PowerPoint um, and a telephone call, you actually uh, you can actually see the person and actually have more than one person, like you and I, could actually have be on the same video. Um, Webinar, and so that's that's the future. And I always like to try to get ahead and step in out in front. And I think uh, video and uh, video conferencing and video webinars is where it's going. And that's a really good point. Always be on the leading edge, than rather than the trailing edge. Yeah, but I think, like in my industry, real estate agents are scared of the technology because they think, just like me, buying this new uh, in this new uh, phone is a learning curve. You know, to everything, this new technology. Everybody is like, "Oh, I don't want to get the new computer because it's, I'm gonna have to, uh, it's a learning curve and all that." But if you're not on the leading edge, you're going to be left behind. And, um, and like I said, I think video. I'm really, really surprised at the lack of uh, video. Um, 
uh, in re in real estate, and um, and that's where it, that's where it's headed. If you're not if you don't have a good video channel and you don't have a good um, <clears throat> you know video presence, then um, the, the public is going to gravitate to those that do.